Uh, so this is our herb garden that we grow upstairs from Beast. Um, and I'll just run through some of the stuff that we're growing. And all of this for us was a big experiment. We bought seeds and we bought some, uh, some small plants and we just kind of went with it and saw where things would go. So uh, right here we have some really nice chili peppers. Um, we're not sure what color they're gonna turn out to be, but we know that they're supposed to be really, really hot. So that'll probably be something that we incorporate into the food and then we also pickle and jar. Uh, we have some fresh lovage right here, which uh, we use from time to time in salads. We also use it, use it as a garnish for our, uh, our Caesars uh, Sunday brunch. Makes a really nice stock. Uh, summer savory, which is also another really good like vinaigrette herb. Um, chervil, which we use for numerous different things. Lemon verbena, which Rochelle likes to use in uh, some desserts. Many different varieties of mint and basil. Uh, we have sage, which right now we're currently using on our Parker House rolls. Uh, chocolate mint, which uh, is really good in some of our ice creams and desserts. Uh, fresh tarragon, which we use a lot in some, uh, some of our sauces. Um, anise hyssop, which uh, I've been taking the leaves because they're nice and full and canning them and then using those as a garnish. We have our beautiful tomato plants, which uh, have grown large enough to stake. There are a few different heirloom varieties that I'm not quite uh, familiar with, but you can see these ones are starting to get fairly large. Uh, these ones, I, I believe, are going to be uh, varieties of cherry tomatoes. Um, and then we have some other big ones over here. Some uh, purple basil, Genovese basil, uh, lemon thyme. And then our strawberries, which uh, we didn't expect to get any strawberries this season, but they've started coming up really small and beautiful. And uh, we might not actually use them for the restaurant, but it's just exciting to come here in the morning and water the plants and pick a, pick a fresh berry that you grew yourself and have a snack. And then our field of corn, which is right behind you, that uh, was purely accidental, but we're kind of rolling with it and we'll see what happens. Thank you.